<laughs> hey, yo, Dante, can you do me a favor? I'm, I'm recording right now, so could, could, could you yell out Dragon Squad, bitch? Dragon Squad, bitch. Get in! Dragon Squad, bitch. Wait, I about some young boy that nigga i think he's the same age as me or maybe a year a year younger than me so about some fucking young boy but um at 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 hey yo man what's good youtube it's your boy your host rest guy dragon squad bitch back on the ration of the day we are here with the nfl playoffs my boy we're here with the playoffs first game super wild card weekend cj stroud youngest quarterback going against Joe Flacco, the oldest quarterback in the NFL right now. Um, now look, I chose Cleveland. That, that shit crazy. I said my last video when I did the playoff predictions for the, the wild card, I was like 100% accurate wild card round um, predictions. 100% my ass, nigga. I lost the first game, bro. <laughs> I, and bro, I, I put a damn $10. Uh, Cause I, I, I remember when I said I was gonna put all my picks in the parlay. Yeah, had a six-game parlay. Niggas got blowed out the first game, bro. I'm like, God damn, bro. I mean, I only put $10 on there, though, but I would have won $150. I mean, weekend ain't over yet. The other teams can lose as well, but damn, I thought for sure they was about to do the uh, the Flacco Ravens storyline, but that's how they got my ass. But it was only $10, though. So, yeah. <sighs> damn. But um, I wasn't like, you know... Like hating on the Texans or whatever like that. No, I was I was just like, um, you gonna have your time, young bull. But um, you th you think it's gonna um beat that Joe Flacco storyline? They wasn't gonna let that happen, but they let that shit happen. <laughs> they let that shit happen. My nigga Joe went out sad. Damn, I was be a little more compared though. They was telling me the Browns defense was elite. I know I, I know my uh, my uh, nigga Jim Schwartz, um. Is a uh, defensive coach. He was our defensive coach too when we, when we won the Super Bowl. Um, but damn, niggas got cooked. C CJ was like, "I'm not about to go out like that. Y'all got me fucked up." But yeah, damn, I did not see that shit coming. I thought be, even if they lost, it'd be like a closer game. Fuck no. Boy, about to get to this bit. See what it's talking about. Ear tools, spectacles, and my get it all, man. Hey. OBS, start recording. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Yeah, but no, I, I was I wasn't hating on the, on, on the Texans. I just didn't think that they was going to um, win because, of, like I said, the Flacco Ravens potential. But they said, fuck all that shit. Stroud, who didn't play in the first matchup between these two teams, said this was going to be a key getting into those manageable third downs and play great situational football. Damn, popped his ass. As he throws, he's got it. Nico Collins, first and goal. Dalton Schultz in motion, big time target in the red zone. Stroud rolls, fires, end zone. Caught that. Oh, no, no, no. yeah, I've seen that play. I've seen that play. He had a uh, knock that shit out. It was low. And it's fourth down. A chance to not only get in the playoffs, but host this game as the winners of the AFC South. He puts the points on the board, and Houston goes up 3-0. Play action on first down. Joe Flacco. Let it fly! Go cool! There's the big play from Flacco. He put it in the bucket for a tight end to the tune of 45 yards. Up down uh, play action. Ooh, damn. Damn. Chip the fuck out of that nigga. God damn. Rifle wide open. Amari Cooper. First and goal. Hunt the running back. Third and goal. Hunt up the middle. He goes over the top. Oh, yeah. I'm on a hunt. I'm on a hunt. Hey. Hey. Now, really a beautiful job by the left guard, Joel Batonio. Players on this offense. 
Man, Joe with that oh, like, like with that helmet, bro. <laughs> that nigga look like he played back in the fucking nineteen seventies with that with that bland ass helmet. That nigga, that nigga Joe ain't got no drip on. Nice block by the right guard, number 77, Wyatt Teller. The strength of this Browns offense and their offensive line are those three interior guys. Stady grew up in, Stady went to college in. Said that Texas Air. Singletary. Ski skirt. Through the hole, breaks a tackle across midfield. A big gain on the ground. Taki Taki tracks him down 29 yards for number 26. Thornhill making his return to the lineup, couldn't get him to the turf. Now it's Stroud on first down, back to the air, loads it up wide open. It's hey, I fuck with CJ. Hey, he just, he just got the most confident I, I didn't see out of, out of these uh, rookies, though. On the sideline by Mechie. And the big run to set this up. No, I'm truly just had no ass. Ooh, got him. The pitch, Collins. Got Collins. Oh, yeah, Tutty. Too easy. Hey. Number 78. We've seen him go one on one against Garrett and pass block. Shows block that he gets out in front of this play. That was a good ass play. Why, why don't we why don't we do shit like this? Goodness gracious. Nico Collins follows him into the end zone. Three tight ends here on first down. Flacco. Flacco. Wide open in stride Bryant. Here he goes into midfield and deep in Houston territory. Dragged down by Houston Carson. The final play of the first quarter. A huge one for Flacco in this offense. Out of South Dakota State missing this one. Second and four now for Flacco. Show Ooh, pass. Show pass. Hunt. Hunt is in once again. Hey, Hunt did his job. <laughs> hey, Hunt did his job. Well, we talked about the interior three, right? The two guards. They could draw a play. Watch 55. Get right out here and get the block on Cashman. I wonder how much different this game would have been if they would have had um Chubb and Deshaun Watson. I don't know. He helps on the guard and then he's leading the way. And again, if Kareem Hunt has a head of steam going north and south, you're not going to keep him out of the end zone. Yeah, but Hunt's a great back too. Gave up 13 pressures. But but you know Chubb and Kareem is 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 one of the best one two punches in the league. F knocked the best one two punch in the league. Oh yeah, he gone. He gone. Oh, he gone. They was just cooking him on them big ass plays. Not, not Derek Barnett doing shit. He used, to, like, he, he used to play for us. We had a, I think, trade him to, to Texas this season. Now he out there cooking. What's up with us, bro? What is up with us? Let let niggas go or trade niggas, and they automatically do better. Like like they automatically can get production out of them niggas. Shit, shit, bro. Even, even goddamn uh, Jalen Rager. Like, what, what was it? Like, like last week or two weeks ago, he he even took like a, a punt return or a kickoff return for a touchdown. He's still ass though. But even him, you know, goddamn him. Um, who who else was with us that was ass? Now JJ Ortega Whiteside, that nigga was ass. I have not heard of that nigga name since, bro. I don't know what that nigga doing. Umbrella man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that nigga doing now. That nigga in the fucking XFL now. But um, there was somebody else we had that wasn't producing, but we traded him and he started going crazy. I forgot, but that should always be happening. Or, or we always be letting talent go. Like, I don't, I don't be understanding that shit. Blacko on courts. A tough catch contested. In Goku! And David Njoku extends forward for the first down. It's not a heavy blitz team, but on third down, they love stunts with their defensive linemen and pass rush. Blitz. Coming around the edge. Flacco got rid of it. Goku! Joku, but he's going to be short of the first down. 
Stafford injured Damian Pierce as the starting running back for this team. Stroud just had to get rid of it. Collins. Into the hands of Collins and hey, hey. First down, Nico Collins. Another TFL sets up third and five for Stroud. Steps up in the pocket. Let it fly! Incomplete, just in front of Dalton Schultz, but a flag. Let me get those. Look at that flag. Look at that flag off your mic. Flag off your mic. Pass interference. Defense number 33. This is a spot five. Automatic first pass. Play action. Another one. Good protection. Why don't we do play action, bro? We don't do... Like, the only play action we do is that dumbass little... That shit don't work, bro. Fuck. Shit blows it up. Fires down. Too easy. Perfectly delivered. Touchdown. Dalton Schultz. Stroud strikes again for 37 yards. That nigga just be letting that. He just be letting that bitch fly. Uh, let it fly. He just be letting that bitch go. Execute better. So far, the offensive execution in the first half has been excellent for Houston. Watch him square up the safety. Runs by him, makes a great move on Ronnie Hickman, and that hit the nigga with the. Oh. Route. Come on, Flacco. Hunt. Good blocking, and Hunt stumbles forward. Picks up seven. Play clock under five. Play action. Flacco to the air. Gets rid of it. Perfectly there. Amari Cooper, first down. The pain tolerance was going to be key for Bernard. He knew he was tough enough to make it happen and still have a high impact. Flacco, what a ball! David Bell right at the sticks, and they will give him the first down. Flacco, you get comes, gets rid of it. It's picked off. Steven Nelson takes it away. Steven Nelson, that's another nigga too. Steven Nelson was on our team. He was getting cooked too. He gets traded, and what are you about to do? Can I get a mid pick six? Ba da ba ba ba. Damn. That was game. As good as he's played, he has thrown eight interceptions in his five starts. They heat the pocket up a little bit. Derek Barnett, number 95, forced it. And Flacco just Barnett forced it. Enough on that football to throw it away. A couple great blocks. Cashman with a huge block. Stingley with the block at the end. They run it. Flacco. Dials it up, picked off again. Christian Harris is gonna go. Damn. Back to back pick sixes. My boy Flacco went outside. You have no problem with this defense. Hey, Joe. So here's Harris. His eyes are on the quarterback. And at the last minute, he Damn. breaks underneath in front of the entire. How many times I gotta teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> Damn. Nah, the game's over, buddy. Goku! They haven't been able to stop no. They haven't been able to stop more defense at all. Nice catch. Y'all in that old man out there getting abused, bro. Damn. Kind of feel sad for my man's. Down. They will wind as much as they can. Oh. The Get off me. Terry. Too easy. Touchdown. Too easy. Damn. My nigga Joe. Damn. Damn, not my nigga Joe. <laughs> Damn. Nah, that's crazy. Well, <laughs> looks like you'll be, you'll be uh, sitting back on the couch, buddy. But it's all good. You got a Super Bowl, so you good. You ain't, you ain't had nothing, else. You ain't had nothing uh, left to prove. Hard inside. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you. Right here that Singletary is going to exploit. Good block by Tunsil on the inside move by... 
punt when Michigan did that to Michael Penix Jr. in Washington in the same way. Third and five, Flacco evades, gets rid of it for Hunt. Couldn't shake the first tackle and will be just shy of the first down as Desmond King goes down low. Third attempt on fourth down for this Cleveland offense. Hunt, 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 Hunt! Side steps. Oh. It's Goku. Goku. Ain't no way you drop that, Goku. With to play. Mills, who's been great in the QB room along with Case Keenum and CJ Stroud. Mills fired. Oh, yeah, Mills. Damn. The fuck? Sheds one, couldn't shed the second. <clears throat> and it's fourth down. Delayed handoff. Kareem Hunt. Up the middle, Dang. got a first down. Longest rush of the day for Cleveland. That consistency is what enabled them or helped them to be able to overcome all the obstacles and adversity that they had this year. Oh, what a good catch. catch! Good David catch. Bell coming back to the ball, they love it. it it's it's a big deal to those guys. David Njoku has been someone who's earned that toy pickup truck quite often this season he has really embraced the pick up your teammate in 2008 of course that 2009 Jets team also going to the AFC oh my god y'all it come on bro what the fuck is your niggas doing why is all four y'all niggas standing up and I'm seeing three grown ass 250 pound men 300 pound men on this 40 year old ass man what are y'all niggas doing why he the only nigga putting in work what the fuck is y'all doing Holy fuck, y'all let this nigga get a bro. He gon' bro, he has a family to go home to at the end of the day. Y'all he has kids and shit, bro. Championship and Flacco gets crunched once again. Another sack for this Houston defense. Damn, Barnett got hurt too. Texan team. One final kneel down. The Texan train rolls on. And the <laughs> Stupid story ass. of Stroud is just beginning. Houston dominant, 45-14, and they're on to the divisional. Damn, rookie head coach, rookie head coach, and a goddamn the rookie quarterback dynamic duo. Hey, I, I, I fuck with that coach too, cause it's like it, it, it's like he's he's like he's an actual like player, but like he's the coach, like like he just got that same energy type shit. I fuck with that. Uh, we we definitely need that because um I don't think niggas fuck it with Nick Seriani. But um I don't give a fuck. We gotta get this playoff W, my nigga. But um okay okay that boy CJ going like who would they be playing? Hold on let me, um who the fuck would they would they even be playing? Do I even have that shit up here? I don't even think I had that shit up here. Oh here it is. <clears throat> Cause yeah, Kansas City beat the Dolphins. Um, Steelers are not fucking winning. <laughs> Let's keep that shit a bean. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be Bills versus Kansas City. Yeah, it, it, it'll be Bills versus Kansas City. Then Ravens versus um Texans. Uh, I think that's I think that's where the um, the Texans I think that's where they run stops there. Um, I know Lamar has has a lot to prove in the playoffs, but I don't think they' about to lose to CJ and them boys. Um, so we'll see though. Uh, that, that, that would definitely be a fire ass matchup though for sure. But um, so I gotta say about this Jank. Um, Browns, City of Cleveland, back down bad again. <laughs> Y'all niggas gotta go back to Cleveland. That's a damn shame, bro. Y'all got blowed out. You gotta go back to the barren wasteland. No form of civilization out there in Ohio. Damn shame. Anyways, yeah, after LeBron left, nigga, y'all niggas was uh finished. No more winning for y'all. Um, so yeah, post your comments down below so you guys thought leave a like if you enjoyed what you guys did. So subscribe because either you a dragon or you're a bitch. <laughs> Thought you loved me, girl, how can this be? I didn't love these hoes, it was only you and me Two choppers to my chest, now I can't